The southern region is viewed as having a rich history, natural and climatic zones, tourist routes, and destinations. And also, thanks to its climate, it's famous for sanatorium and resort treatment. Therefore, in this episode of the program, we will continue telling the story about the splendor of southern Kazakhstan. The main advantage of regular visits to a sanatorium is proper rest and therapy for many different diseases under the supervision of experienced specialists. After visiting the sanatorium, it will be easy for you to go to work as your body will become healthier and your immune system will become much stronger. People who get resort treatment in summer are less prone to seasonal colds during the cold season. Moreover, being at the sanatorium means having sleep and rest, good nutrition and if necessary, diet therapy and dosed exercise. Modern sanatoriums offer a lot of interesting entertainment activities. In addition to therapeutic and preventive procedures, you definitely won't be bored in the sanatorium. Sanatoriums actively use the healing natural factors of the place in which they are located. Thus, 25 5 kilometers north of the city of Shumkent, 6.5 kilometers away from the Mankent station, there is a unique sanatorium of its kind, one of the oldest health resorts, surrounded by orchards. Warm climatic conditions, clean fresh air, absence of strong winds, abundance of sunlight, mineral water, all these are the most valuable natural and climatic healing factors of this sanatorium. As far as I remember, this is the largest sanatorium, with an area of 12 hectares, having 25 residential buildings, a separate building for meals, which is included in the price of the voucher, its own pump room, its own house of culture, a spacious outdoor swimming pool, an outdoor tennis court, walking paths, dancing grounds, and a new sports complex. An indoor swimming pool with hydro massage, an infrared sauna, a beauty salon, a karaoke bar, a gym, billiards, and excursion desk services are available year-round. But we will talk about that later. For the convenience of guests, comfortable living conditions have been created. The sanatorium has 25 buildings, 10 of which are detached summer cottages. The sanatorium's room capacity is only 629 beds, including 383 beds operating in winter. There are several categories of rooms, including for family stays, for every taste and pocket, rooms of the standard comfort and apartment classes. Each of them is equipped with everything necessary for your comfortable stay – TV, refrigerator, wireless internet. The cost of the tour depends on the room category you choose and includes accommodation, three times a day tasty meals, as well as a standard package of treatment and entertainment, as well as a standard package of treatment and entertainment. All healthcare and health resort institutions use a numbered dietary system. Today, there are 15 dietary tables prescribed for patients. Here in the sanatorium, the focus is on treatment with four tables, 5, 8, 9, and 15. Dietary tables are supervised by dietitians. A seven-day menu has been developed, with calorie counting in accordance with the catering standards of balneology and rehabilitation. And we tested it ourselves, and it is really very tasty, and the variety of dishes is amazing. Among other things, the sanatorium has its own greenhouse and vegetable storehouse, which provide guests with environmentally friendly products all year round. Treatment here is based on balneotherapy, mineral water of Mankent deposits, which is extracted from a depth of 1,210 meters. It is low mineralized, belongs to the class of weakly alkaline sulfate chloride sodium. Water is used both for drinking treatment and in balneotherapy. Effective for diseases of the gastrointestinal tract, urological and gynecological diseases, polyarthritis, osteochondrosis, spondyloarthritis, radiculitis. This is our drinking pump room. At a depth of 1,200 meters, there is mineral water. As you can see, the color of the water is yellow. The water temperature is 38 degrees. The composition is rich in useful macro elements. We prescribe mineral water to patients every day, 150-200 milliliters, half an hour before meals. Contraindicated for those with gallstones or kidney stones in the treatment of diseases of the digestive system and diseases of the gastrointestinal tract, mineral water is very useful. Try it. Water contains iron, which is why the color is yellowish, and there is no smell or taste. Did you like it? The healing properties of this water are high. It improves the functioning of the gastrointestinal tract and blood circulation. There is mineral water in the sanatorium. That's clear. Tell us about the doctors at the sanatorium. 
врачи можно в санаторий, да, врачи реабилитологи, сида, одан болек, кардиолог. И на в санаторий there are resuscitation doctors, cardiologist, a urologist, a gynecologist, ultrasound specialist, and there are also an ophthalmologist and a neurologist. It's good if upon arrival at the sanatorium, patients have medical documentation in hand, tests, MRI, CT, ultrasound reports. But if not, then you can undergo an ultrasound and get tested with us for a fee. There is also a cardiogram. You can get advice from specialists. То есть сразу, чтобы было понимание, да, кому противопоказано, кого, кому можно и кого как. Я именно сол результат анализ делаю, на те же снега. After the examination based on the test results, the doctor prescribes procedures depending on contraindications. Диагноз на гора берет. Оптимальный срок. How many days should one get a treatment? To obtain full treatment, the recommended number of days is more than 14 days, but mostly many of people come for 10 days. Ем делюге. Mineral waters with a high content of bicarbonate ions have an effective impact on the gastrointestinal tract. They are effective for gastritis, colitis, and pancreatitis, peptic ulcers, and diabetes. Ferrous mineral waters have a healing effect on the circulatory system, as they promote the formation of red blood cells and increase hemoglobin in the blood. They effectively help when there is a case with anemia. Mineral waters with a high iodine content stimulate the activation of metabolic processes, have a calming effect on the nervous system, and have a positive effect on the activity of the thyroid gland. Siliceous waters soothe and have an anti-inflammatory effect. They are especially useful for older people with gastrointestinal diseases. Potassium strengthens the heart, improves kidney function. Calcium strengthens bones, muscles, teeth, and is beneficial for the cardiovascular system, establishes ionic balance in the body, and has a beneficial effect on blood clotting. Magnesium regulates carbohydrate and energy metabolism, helps the functioning of the nervous system. Baths with mineral waters have a beneficial effect on the human body and increase its defenses. What makes treatment and relaxation in a sanatorium or resort unique is the use of available natural factors, which are used in a variety of ways for drinking treatments as rinses, inhalations, in baths and pools. By the way, the sanatorium has a large indoor swimming pool for children and adults. Swimming is a great opportunity to exercise without putting unnecessary strain on your joints and bones. The load that the body receives during training in the pool strengthens the heart and helps to smoothly perform its important function, contract pumping blood which leads to a noticeable improvement in blood flow throughout the body. People with various diseases are sent to a resort or sanatorium, but always during a period when the disease practically does not make itself felt. Then the benefits of recovery will be colossal. Also, the availability of the opportunity to be fully examined in sanatoriums in the comfortable conditions of a resort is a good option for people who have not undergone a medical examination for a long time. A special feature of our sanatorium is mineral water. Mineral water from our own source. Warm mineral water normalizes the functioning of the pancreas and digestive system. Mineral water is rich in micro elements such as sulfate, sodium, chloride, magnesium, chromium, calcium and iodine. These components are very beneficial for the human body. Our sanatorium with the widest range of medical services. The main directions are treatment of diseases of the musculoskeletal system, arthritis, arthrosis, rheumatism as well as arthritis after brucellosis. Diseases of bones and joints, spinal hernia as well as treatment of gastritis. Diseases of bones and joints, spinal hernia as well as treatment of gastritis. 
stomach ulcers, inflammation and the pancreas and intestines. In addition, we treat people with diseases of the peripheral nervous system, insomnia and depression. Mineral water helps very well with anemia as it contains a lot of iron. Water also has a good effect in the treatment of skin diseases such as eczema, psoriasis and allergic dermatitis. Patients drink 200 milliliters of mineral water every day before meals and also take externally in the form of a bath, circular shower or swimming pool. Mineral water is used for rinsing the mouth, as well as for washing the intestines and stomach. Mineral water is used in the balneal therapy, hydrotherapy and procedures with zocari to treat joints. There is also light therapy and electrophoresis, magnetic therapy, ultrasound and laser therapy. There are about 40 types of treatment. How many people come to you and from what regions? About 16-18 thousand people get treatment here every year. Mostly they come from all regions of Kazakhstan, also from neighboring Uzbekistan, from Russia and even from Germany. The territory is very large. I see that the children's area is very developed. So one can have a rest and be treated with the whole family? Yeah. You can stay in our sanatorium with the whole family. We let children stay from the age of four. In the summer, when there are a lot of vacationers, we organize a children's center. Caregivers look after children while parents, while parents receive treatment. We also treat children. There are 10 types of treatment for children. To have a rest at a resort, you need to do it with pleasure. This will make your vacation simply unforgettable. From time to time, entertainment events, concerts and excursions, discos and animation for adults and children are held on the territory of the health resorts. For people who prefer a relaxing holiday, there are libraries, cinema halls and some sanatoriums even have billiards. And here is another example of how you should treat your guests. If you want to walk outside, there is a huge area. A patient can have a variety of procedures and you can drink water and take a bath in. It's very useful, which comes from a depth of 1,250 meters. Do you want a completely new sports complex? And if you are tired and want to relax, there is a billiard table. Sport plays an important role in the recovery program, rehabilitation after illness and serves as a sport for life tonus at any age, if there are no serious contraindications. For people who like active recreation, a new complex with sports equipment is located on the territory of the sanatorium. Once again, I am amazed how well everything is thought out for people who relax in the sanatorium. New sports complex. Here you can play football, basketball, volleyball. Everything is provided for this. If you want, you can relax. If you want, you can go in for sports. There are quite a few sanatoriums in the Turkestan region. They are all different from each other. Now we have arrived at a sanatorium which is different in scale. Just look at this map. There are 49 positions listed here of various buildings. Look how many buildings there are. 19, 20, 25 buildings. Sauna, fountain, entertainment center, tennis court, children's entertainment center, beauty salon, cafe, dance floor, adult and children's pool, administrative building, lots of them. The territory is so big, just that it is better for you walk every day. 
keep moving, walks every day. Next, we are headed to the spiritual capital of the Turkic world, the city of Turkestan. The largest transport hub closest to Turkestan is Shumkent, located 180 kilometers away. We left Shumkent in the morning by car. The route is comfortable and busy. The city, located in the middle of the arid steppes of the far south of Kazakhstan, is a real gift from the history of the tourism industry. This city with a 1,500-year history is today one of the most important centers of Muslim pilgrimage in Central Asia, and the mausoleum of the Sufi poet Koja Ahmed Yasawi, built by Tamerlan, is also a major tourist attraction. There are really a lot of places in the Turkestan region that need to be visited. It's very interesting. Yes, we visited sanatoriums, but there are places that simply must be on your list. And one of these places is the mausoleum of Khoja Ahmed Yassawi in Turkestan. This is a place of attraction, this is a place of power, this is a place of pilgrimage. As you can see, there are a lot of tourists from the regions of Kazakhstan, foreign tourists. They come here to visit this historical place. Indeed, the history is very rich. Everything here is antique, everything is historical and very interesting. In my case, all of this reminds me of childhood, because I was born in Kental, 26 kilometers away from Turkestan. And I remember when we were little, we were brought here on excursions on buses. So every time I come to Turkestan and to the mausoleum of Khoja Ahmed Yassawi with pleasure. Not far from the mausoleum, during the tourist season, photographers walk here offering their services. There is the opportunity to ride camels and small cars throughout the territory. Of course, tourists buy souvenirs during their trip. From here you can take away memorable trinkets at affordable prices. Traditionally, places that are visited by many people are full of trade. Turkestan is not an exception, but even an example of how people make money. Here you can buy everything from clothes to keychains for souvenirs. Traders offer a wide range of stuff. Visiting a historical place, you can always buy something for yourself and your loved ones as a souvenir. After independence, Turkestan was an ordinary city in the South Kazakhstan region, but in 2018 it has become a regional center. It was decided to revive the spiritual capital and give Shumkent the status of a city of republican significance. It was planned to develop the city through a tourism cluster. Then, large tourist facilities were built and a new city appeared in the east of Turkestan, reminiscent of the country's capital. The city of Turkestan in southern Kazakhstan has officially become a member of the Organization of World Heritage Cities. Consequently, tourists need to follow the norms of behavior in holy places, but this topic often becomes the subject of debate. Dear visitors, the mausoleum of Khoja Ahmed Yassawi and the territory are a holy place. On the territory of the mausoleum, it is strictly forbidden to smoke, drink alcohol, litter, draw on the wall, or climb the battlements of the fortress wall. We walked around the territory of the mausoleum. It is a very large area, and it's nice to make sure that everything is very clean, tidy, and people don't litter. For this, I would like to say more thanks. Let's protect and treat our holy places with care.
Turkestan is visited on average by up to a million tourists a year. This figure is expected to reach 5 million by 2025. Turkestan is also given strategic importance by the fact that the city is located on the route of the ancient Silk Road. Definitely check it out to appreciate this area.